Well, ZX Logo 16A for the Mac. Today's topic is a pinwheel. It's going to involve uh, something similar to what we've done with squares or circles, but we're also going to make it with um, quarter circles. So over here on your procedures page, we're going to make a program called two quarter R, no space, quarter R. We're going to put a variable there, X. We're going to make a quarter circle. So repeat, obviously, is used. Not 360, that's a circle. Not 180, that's a half circle. So 90. Going to make off to the right, so forward. Uh, X times our normal 3.14 divided by 360. Right turn 1. You do have to be a little careful because it's a little different if you do the do the math. Circles all the way around, court half circles, but this is a quarter circle. So actually, uh, it's going to be a little different. You'll see that here in a moment. And end it. Come over to the procedure to the command center. We'll delete all this. We'll use quarter are 100. Pen down, CG, set the color to 9, show the turtle, now we're talking quarter circle. Then we're going to make a petal we're going to make a pedal by doing this. We're going to go forward 100. And then I'm going to make a quarter circle off to the left, but I don't have a quarter circle off to the left. I'm going to highlight this over here of the procedures page. Copy it. Come back down just to normal. Copy and paste. But make sure you change from quarter R change it to quarter L and while you're at it <coughs> instead of right turn make it sure it's left turn you've got your same kind of program quarter R quarter very similar but one's off to the right and one's off to the left now we're going to make a program called pedal and it's basically going to be like this it's going to be up over, up, off to the left, and turn around and make it back. You'll see what I mean here in a moment. We're always looking for things that are done repeat, so we'll use two. Go quarter R, 100. Go forward 100. Go quarter L, 100. And then take a turn of 180 right turn or left turn. CG and then pedal. Oh, that didn't quite work. Hmm. Well, I mean, it worked. Look what it did. It uh, did exactly what I told it. Oh, before, before I make the quarter circle, maybe we should go forward 50. One slight change. Oh, there we go. Much better. Go forward. Quarter off to the right. Forward 100. Quarter off to the left. Turn around. Do the same thing all over. Now we have our basic shape. Our basic pedal. We're going to make a pinwheel now. We're going to use a variable. The variable is going to control how many petals it does. So, repeat, Z, left bracket. I'm going to make a petal, but then I'm going to turn. And here we go again, just like with squares and the circles. We're going to do a turn depending upon how many I make. The more you make, the less it turns pinwheel.
and it needs a variable. Come back over here, we'll go uh, 10. Maybe the pen size is a little bit too big. We'll set the pen size back to 1. CG it, pinwheel there. You can come up here to your color palette up at the top here by the backpack. Color it in by using this paint bucket. By filling in, let's say you do red, you can paint that in. You could do this with commands, but that'd take a while now, wouldn't it? Change it to blue, and just where that little bucket paints in, you can make some pretty awesome commands or some awesome pictures. Of course, if you CG it, I'm going to get out of here. If you CG it, it's back to the same thing again. Let's say I want to do more than just that. Let's say I want to make it do a hundred of them. Looks like eagle feathers or maybe something like that, huh? Try coloring those in with your paint. But you know, one of the things about computers and variables and why we use them so much is Petal does not have a variable. Petal does not have a variable. Let's uh, change that. By the way, if I can look at it here, that's pretty cool. I'm going to change Petal. I used Z in Pinwheel. I'm going to use X and Y. Instead of going forward 50, let's say I go forward X. X will control how far forward I go. And quarter L, or quarter, will be Y but make sure that I change this one. It was 100, so I'm going to make it 2 times x. Whatever x is, I'm going to double it. And quarter L is going to be the same as... Now it needs three variables. We're going to come back to the pinwheel. It's going to need three variables. One controls how many pedals. One controls how far forward to go. One controls the quarter quarter turns. So now if I do pinwheel, it says, oh, I need more inputs. We've been through that before. Let's say we do 10 of them. We'll go forward 50 on the first one and 100. And that's exactly what we had before, by the way. But let's change it. We'll do 15 of them, and we'll only go forward 25 and forward 50. Maybe set the pen size to 5. Try it again. Now I can control the number of them, the size of the forward, the size of the quarter and you could add color to it if you want and draw it but that's it for today's lesson